push me, I pushed his ass back. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl Di back with another story time. So grab your wine. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notifications so you can know when I upload. This story time is about the celebrity that tried me. Tried it, okay? I won't give out any names because that's not what we're doing here. <laughs> we ain't giving out real names here. So um, if you were expecting that, sorry. Y'all know if y'all saw my last story time uh, about the sugar daddy that I had, he used to buy me stuff all the time. So with him buying me stuff, he bought me some tickets to a concert. He bought me two tickets to this concert, but my friends kind of like bailed out on me, you know? Needless to say, after that, he ain't buy two tickets no more. He just bought me a ticket. <laughs> I go to the concert. It was on a weeknight. Um, it was all the way in Baltimore, which was like an hour and a half from me. And it was at this venue. It wasn't like a stadium, you know, where the big celebrities be performing at like the drakes and stuff it wasn't like that it looked like a club but it was like where they hosted all the music events in Baltimore I can't even remember the name of it but whatever so I get there I'm not really too sure like I see tour buses outside and I see people so I'm like okay cool and I'll just try to park here so I see this parking garage I go up the parking garage but I'm like how do I get out of this parking garage so that I end up not on the other side of the street you know like on the other in the back of the venue I need to be in the front of the venue you know so I stop and I ask this girl and she's like oh yeah you go here here I'm like okay thank you she was really nice I'm like okay cool keep that in mind y'all so I get in the venue I'm by myself but I'm easily like I can make friends you know easy to make friends so I met this girl um we'll call her Gina that's not her real name but we'll call her Gina and Gina was just like a die-hard fan for this person and I'm like dang Gina no like Gina's really excited she was like really like a fan you know and I was like man because it was a, like a whole bunch of other artists that everybody liked so you know so all of the other artists perform and we're having a good time got our drinks and stuff and then he comes on we'll call him <laughs> I don't even want to give him a name I don't even know what to call him like I'm not gonna call him nothing. He, we just go call him he. <laughs> he gets on stage with some groupies, it look like. You know how the guys be having people on stage just standing behind? You know, the girls be standing behind them dancing and like hyping them up and stuff, you know? <laughs> so I see the girl that I asked for directions in the parking lot. I see her before the, you know, set starts. And she's like, come up here, come up here, come up here. And I'm sitting with Gina the whole time, me and her kicking in and chit chatting. And I was like, well, can she come too? I didn't want to go. Like, I'm loyal, y'all. I'm loyal, for real. I just met this girl and I was like, I'm not going to be on stage until, if, unless she can come with me. Because she's been my homie the whole time. I ain't going to sleep right hanging like that. So, shout out to Gina. <laughs> That ain't really your name, but you know who you are. He performs his little, you know, whatever. Gina is going freaking bananas. Gina's going crazy, right? The set's over. We all just went backstage after the set. They was blazing up, drinking. Like, it was just a cool atmosphere, right? So, the guy, he, him, <laughs> he's trying to chop it up. You know, Gina is all into it. Gina came here for him. Gina came there for him. <laughs> And I'm just sitting there, he talking about his music that's coming up, and his new songs, and all I know is the old songs from back in the day, because he's one of the ones, he's one of, probably like C or D list now, but back in the day, like in the 2000s, early 2000s, he was popping, you know? So, <laughs> I knew those songs, I ain't know no other songs. He was trying to do all this extra stuff on set, I was like... I, I don't know I don't know so he was like trying to be back there and singing and stuff and Gina like I know the song I know the song I'm like girl I don't know that I'm just sitting quiet like well I don't know the new songs <laughs> you know he was like I know um 
or I never heard that or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I never heard that one before. And he was like, I know, because you would have been singing it if you did. I was just like, okay. Cocky little f wasn't he? He was cocky as hell. So it was time to, like, go. I got to work in the morning. I'm about to go. He's like trying to spit game to me or whatever. Hey, why don't you come back to the hotel with me and shit like that? And I was like, look, I can't. I can't. I don't even live here. This ain't even my neighborhood, bro. I live an hour and a half away. I still have to drive home. I'm good. It wasn't even the fact that I even had to work. Because if it was somebody that I was interested in like that or was really like DTF, you know what I'm saying? If y'all know what that mean, then I would have done it. You know what I'm saying? I would have went and I would have just been like YOLO. Y'all only live once, you know? But I wasn't really interested in him like that and I, you about to be gone tomorrow. So I'm not about to be to even do it to myself, you know? I wasn't attracted to him in that way, but I was just trying to like, you know how you meet a celebrity and you just be wanting to know like how they are and stuff. You're just curious, you know, about people you don't know. I'm nosy like that. I don't know if y'all are. Comment below if you are. <laughs> but we exchanged numbers, right? Uh, he's like, uh, we're texting back and forth. I was surprised to even get a text from him the next day. You know how you kind of perceive celebrities to be? uh kind of like they like on the road all the time so they get all these numbers but don't never call them i do that sometimes too and i ain't even a celebrity but you know what i'm saying so uh he texted me surprisingly that morning and was like uh what's up and da 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 and uh let me know when you make it uh when you come to atlanta um and i was like okay like he was like I wish you would have like got up with me uh, last night or whatever and I was just like I had to work you know so that was that he was like just let me know when you were in Atlanta whenever you come to Atlanta like he kind of we had a conversation about like me having family there me coming there me frequenting Atlanta or whatever and so I was like okay cool you know so <laughs> Fast forward, I go to visit at, uh, my family in Atlanta, and on one of the days I was there, I hit him up, and I was like, hey, I'm in I'm in town, like, what, what you doing, what's up? He was like, yeah, let's go here, let's go to Top Golf. let's go here, and I was like, I couldn't make it to Top Golf because I was hanging out with, like, my ex-best friend or something like that, but I couldn't make it, or my family, I think, one of them, but I couldn't make it. We were going to get up that night and go do something. So, next thing I know, he's like, yeah, let's come through. Like, we'll come through, we'll um, come pick me up real quick. I'm thinking we about to go out or whatever. I'm looking cute, you know, I'm looking cute. So I go and pick him up from this bar place. He's like, uh, giving me directions to where we're going and we end up like at his place. And I'm okay with it because I'm nosy. Dude, he's like, a CD list celebrity what is he gonna do to me I can beat him up I really could beat him up and we gonna get to that okay we get to his penthouse or whatever in Atlanta and I text my best friend like oh bitch I'm about to be up in here like <laughs> I'm gonna take some pictures you want some pictures girl I was gonna take some pictures you know on the slide like look, you know I think I did like take one or two I was just, I don't know, I'm just nosy. I just like to know how people live. So my best friend like, ooh, he got that, uh, the royalty checks, cause he ain't. <laughs> she was like, well, he still got money, obviously. He living in a spot like that after I sent the pictures. Anyway, I told him before, I'm not doing nothing with you. You bringing me to your spot for what? Honestly, I just wanna see in there, inside of there. It was nice, it really was. It had a very good view, like chandelier, this big ass freaking white couch and stuff. And so the whole time that I'm there, this dude was so full of himself, y'all. He was so full of himself. He put on a whole freaking concert. He didn't want to cut on no TV or nothing. He was just trying to, I guess, serenade me to get me to sleep with him, pretty much. So he's standing there with his shirt off. He take his shirt off. <laughs> Let me rewind, okay? We get in there. 
he goes upstairs to, you know, freshen up or like to, I guess, get comfy. He comes back down with his shirt off. But while he up there, I'm like taking pictures like, ooh, I'm about to send this to my best friend. <laughs> Like, oh, bitch, you know, oh, this is nice, okay. And she like the royalty checks coming in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He comes back down, ready to put on a show, okay. I'm just sitting on the couch, chilling. Like, I think I had like something to drink or something. I was just chilling, like, looking at him, and he just, I'm talking about putting on a full performance, like, ah, you know, like. Like caressing his body like he really just put on a concert and I'm just like maybe you forgot that I wasn't Gina Cuz I wasn't impressed <laughs> I, was sitting, I was just sitting there like texting my best friend like this nigga is really putting on the whole show <laughs> in the living room Thinking he about to serenade me into some damn no into his bed. No No, I was just curious. This is what I get for being nosy y'all <laughs> This is exactly what I get for being so nosy. He finished his little concert or whatever with these unreleased songs that nobody's heard yet. And I'm just like, okay, I'm trying to be cool, you know, like put on a brave face. I was good, I was good. And he's just trying to like be all up on me and I'm just kind of like, <sighs> yeah, no. To change like the mood, I was like, can I just, because he had kind of like a loft area and it looked like it was a piano up there so I was like oh can I go look at uh, can I have a tour and see the piano and stuff and he was like no the only way you going up there is if we doing something oh well I guess we ain't going up there then <laughs> I guess we ain't going up there then so I just sat there and then he started singing again lord I just can't I, I just can't you know, it is true that celebrities do get away with a lot of stuff. He finished his little concert and was kept trying me and kept trying me. I was like, no, I'm good. I think I'm gonna just go. You know, I think I'm just gonna go. And he was like, oh, that's all it is. I already told you, like, I wasn't, I don't know what to tell you, bro. I picked you up. I picked you up from the bar. We're hanging with your friends and I brought you to your place and you all amped up off of something I don't know if it was drugs. I don't know if it was alcohol I don't know what it was, but he was just so like I mean of course he was already full of himself when I first met him But it was like times a thousand like he was in his element in his uh, living room area I was like man Whatever so he's upset that I want to leave and he it gets to a point where he's like trying to like push me out the door and I'm like first of all you ain't even got to do all of that because I was leaving anyway I just want to be nosy and come up in here and see what you had going on in here because you ain't that famous no more okay I just wanted to see what was going on in here and it's nice it's still nice the royalty checks coming in handy and all of that stuff but you no, you ain't <laughs> Please, I wish you would. I was like, <laughs> so <laughs> this is all me thinking, you know? This is my my internal thinking. But when he pushed me, pushed me out the door, I said, don't push me. I pushed his ass back. <laughs> so, and he's smaller. Like, he's a small guy, I think. I, I feel like he's a small guy. He just kind of like flew back, like, oh shit. <laughs> and he was like, oh, good night, good night. And I was like, no. You walked me in here, you could walk me to my freaking car. I don't know if he was used to people like talking to him that way or if he liked it or was like, but he really carried his ass out there and was like, all right, all right, come on, all right. And I was like, right, okay. <laughs> I was surprised, like, well, okay, you know, okay. So we go downstairs. I didn't even say bye. I was just like, I just walked the I just walked up out of there. I never talked to him again. I never did. Um probably for the best though, but <laughs> oh man, it was it was a crazy experience. I've had way better encounters just from regular people hanging out with regular people than I have hanging out with some of these celebrity people because this guy he just had no people skills. I guess when you get to a space where you are used to women throwing themselves at you or whatever, um, like 
you act a certain way. He forgot that I was Di and not Gina. Gina liked him like that. Gina knew all the songs. Di ain't give a fuck about the songs. Di just wanted to see what was going on in the, in the penthouse there and see what the decor was. <laughs> Have you ever had like an encounter with a celebrity that was like, crazy comment that down below be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel oh and you can share it too if you like <laughs> but um thank you so much for tuning in and listening to my story i'll have another one for you guys next week um i recorded two last week so i'll probably just edit that one a little bit and i'm gonna have the same thing on that i had on last week for that story time. Uh, I think that one's gonna be about uh, the time somebody proposed to me. And that's pretty funny too. That's pretty funny. But um, stay tuned for that next week and I'll see you in the next story time. Bye.